Today we're here at Walnut Canyon. This is the last place that we're visiting in the Flagstaff area and we're super excited to explore. We're going to start off by doing the Rim Trail and after that we're going to head down and do the Island Trail. The Rim Trail is a circular trail that follows the canyon rim past some vista points before circling back past the pit house and two room pueblo. Almost 400 feet deep, a quarter mile wide and 20 miles long, Walnut Canyon was carved into the Permian Kaibab limestone over 60 million years. Walnut Canyon National Monument preserves a collection of cliff dwellings, built and occupied by the Sinagua people during the 12th and 13th centuries. The Island Trail is only a little longer than the Rim Trail at one mile in total length. But this circular trail includes 185 feet of vertical ascent via 273 very steep steps. Archaeological evidence suggests that Walnut Canyon was first occupied, albeit temporarily, by travelers passing through the area thousands of years ago. The first permanent inhabitants are thought to have arrived around 600 CE. The old Spanish name for the region was Sierra de Sinagua, meaning mountains without water. It's from this that the people were named Sinagua reflecting their ability to survive in seemingly arid environments. Here is where we can see the cliff dwellings up close. Wow, this is not very tall. I'm 5'7". The Sinagua people built dwellings throughout this region, relying on their knowledge of water conservation to let them live in what would otherwise be an inhospitable desert. Archaeological evidence suggests that they first inhabited Walnut Canyon around 1100 CE and lived here for around 150 years. Then. Suddenly, around 1250 CE, they left. The same thing that happened at many other ancestral Puebloan sites in the area. So we are on the island trail and we see cliff dwellings here, but they're also over there and also at the opposite side of the canyon. It is in these sandstone walls that the Sinagua people built their homes. Natural ledges and caves formed the basis of Pueblos that were further defined by masonry walls. Walnut Creek running along the canyon floor would have provided water, running at times and stored in shaded pools between rains and spring snowmelts. Deer, bighorn sheep and other wild game would have been hunted in the surrounding forest. And up on the canyon rim, the Sinaguan people would have farmed the lands, growing staples such as corn, beans and squash in fields. Being so close to Flagstaff, Arizona, Walnut Canyon National Monument is an excellent day trip destination. Take a nice quiet stroll along the rim trail and enjoy the stunning panoramic vistas of the canyon below. Or, if you're feeling more active, hike the island trail for the chance to get up close and personal with these ancient cliff dwellings. Thank you for joining us today at Walnut Canyon National Monument just east of Flagstaff in Arizona. Really hope you enjoyed this as much as we did today. It's really been fun walking around these trails. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time. We're leaving our boondocking spot at A1 Mountain Road near Flagstaff and heading further east along Route 66 to Petrified Forest National Park. Mm -hmm.